Kiki coming off the start. We missed the initial movement, but we got the low swing here. Coming right up by the shoe. And then we want to see as you pass that shoe, that knee start to lift. That's pretty good. That's a nice looking line. You've got a good straight extension here. You got the shin almost in line with the back leg. Let's see if that shin moves back to the track. And it gets some good movement there back to the track for sure. Definitely not reaching out that shin. Contact point is just a touch in front of the hips, I'd say. Looking at the second swing, this looks like it might go high. Yeah, it does. This is a little high. You want to drag that one into the second. I do like this line, but this is going to end up putting you a little bit more vertical. It's going to lose some of the forward push. These are just about perfect where you're at. See if this leg comes back. Coming out a little bit right here. And then moving it back pretty well. And again, that spot is just in front of the hips, but usable. Third swing. High, high, high. Too high. Got to drag that. And then you don't get a full push here. We're going more vertical. There's one line. There's the other. I do like what you're doing with the front shin. And then you can see that you start to open up and reach because you can't get as much push. So you start to throw the foot out a little more. And you can see clearly that contact position is drifting away even more. Now it should some but probably not that much by the third. And here's the fourth. Swing is still way up by the knee, not far from the butt. So this is almost like upright running. I like the extension you're going for here, but now you've lost that shin angle a little bit, a little bit of reach on the front side. And this is, again, only step four, so it should look a little bit more like the first step. And the contact point is getting more and more away.